Hey guys, Joel here and welcome back to episode. So today I want to talk about this game real quick that I got yesterday. It just came out. I know I mentioned I was going to talk about this game once I get it today. Well, yesterday. <laughs> and that is the Evil Dead, the game. <laughs> Evil Dead, the game. You know, and got this yesterday. It just came out. And um, so far, I'm really enjoying the game. You know, I, I mentioned already that, you know, with my retro game series, I'm just going to be talking about the retro stuff. But I wanted to throw this in there once I got it. I did mention that. So I got it yesterday. Played a, played a little bit of it, like, I'd say like two hours, or, yeah, like two hours, I would say, I played the game, you know, just to get a feel of it, to see how good it was and everything. And so far, really liking it. Really good game here. And um, I'm enjoying it. I love that we finally have another um, horror multiplayer game that is actually a damn horror game, you know, that where you actually, when you're the survivors, you can actually defend yourselves, you know, and fight back against the killer. And then when you're the killer, you know, you can actually kill people. Not like Dead by Daylight, that shit, you know, like, <laughs> like it's also bad about the game already, like with Dead by Daylight. I was even still playing it, you know, so, and I recently uninstalled it last month and everything. Because I'm like, why am I forcing myself to keep playing that shit? Where it's the same thing you're doing over and over. The game is boring as hell, buggy as hell, and just like, it sucks, you know. The only reason why is because it was the only game at the time still being updated, you know, because Friday 13th, since the lawsuit, you know, they couldn't add any new content to the game. They couldn't patch it anymore and a lot of this stuff, so... You know, it, it just wasn't the same, you know? <laughs> so that was the only game there, you know, around. And it's just like, oh my God, you know, like repairing generators all the time. And um, when you're playing as a killer, you know, you got to run around and try and throw, like, get, take them, like, get them, grab them, whatever, throw them on hooks. So stupid, you know? Like, it's just the worst. Like, uh, this game right here is just way better. You know, um, I love it. I love playing as a survivor so far. I've only played as a survivor. I haven't played as the as the enemy yet or enemies because um it is a mission based game. It's kind of like how the Predator was, where you're doing a mission. You know, as a survivor is like the, like four people survivors. You know, you go and do these missions and stuff. But you know, you start to fight enemies, and then there's like um how do you say it? like the more I like the leader. I would say the demons or whatever. Like the more powerful one is who you know you control as you know as when you're the killer. So I, I, I like that, you know, it's cool and everything, you know, I kind of not too big on the whole mission thing where, you know, like you're trying to do a mission with people and then, you know, you have the other players trying to like stop you because if they're really good at playing as a killer, it's like, oh my God, how am going to do this mission? But I did see there was another mode where it seems like it's just the survivors versus the killer. Something similar to like how um Friday the 13th is with like the four, four survivor 4v1 and stuff like that, and like how Dead by Daylight is 4v1 like that you know just like i said that by daylight you know when it comes to these type of like multiplayer horror games like this and friday 13th it does not hold a candle to these games because that one like i said all you do is repair generators there's no way to defend yourself but dropping pallets on the killer or using a flashlight it's just so stupid like <laughs> i don't know why i don't i don't understand why that game was just how it became so popular and how they took a, how they got the the rights to like get a lot of these like you know killers from movies and stuff like that like, iconic movies and stuff that we grew up with and it's made him into a joke in that game. You know, like, you have people like uh, like Ghostface, one of my favorites and stuff like that. You have um, Michael Myers. You have, uh, what's his name, Nemesis from Resident Evil. Make them all look like jokes. Throwing people on hooks. Like, that's so stupid. And you have a lot of these survivors. Like, you have Jill in that game, Leon. And even the guy in this, Ash is in that game. And they're just like jokes. They don't do anything. They, they, you know, it's like you're just running around with paying generators and that's it. You know, at least he finally has his own game. You know what I mean? Well, not really, I want to say finally, but at least a survivor has their own game that's, you know, similar to, you know, that game, but just better when it comes to, like, the multiplayer going against the enemy, the guy going against the killer and stuff like that. He has his own game, and this is much better. So I want to see that a lot more of these characters that they introduce into that shitty game and have them have their own game, like how, you know, like with, what's his name? Ghostface. I would love to see a game of Ghostface, you know, like, just like this with the four, you know, 4v1 and everything like that. That would be great. So yeah, but enough bashing Dead by Daylight. We're gonna talk about this and everything. And like this definitely um has that feel to like Friday the thirteenth. Definitely like just like the game, you know? And this is based off the movie. I honestly didn't know anything about it. My friend, one of my close friends, he knows about the movie and everything. So that's why he was like really hyped for it and everything. Honestly, I just cared about it because you know it was just a multiplayer horror game. Finally something that uh, I guess you can say rivals Dead by Daylight, since that's like the only one I know of so far. You know, that's still constantly being updated and where a lot of people play. I mean, Friday 13 people still play. I still play all the time, even if there's no updates. But, you know, so, um, 
you know, this is a, this is this is good. You know, it's a movie based game as well, just like Friday Thirteenth and everything. I don't know anything about the movies. I don't know anything about Ash. I only know about him because of Death by Daylight when he's one of the survivors in that game and everything. I don't know anything about it. You know, not interested in. It. I'm not really a movie person, anyways. So I just wanted the game, like I said, just for multiplayer, you know, horror experience, where it's just four v one and stuff like that. So that's the only reason why I picked it up. I mean, while I was interested, when I saw in the Game Informer magazine and why I picked it up and everything. So um, yeah. So so far, yeah. Really, like I said, a really good game. I'm enjoying the multiplayer features. I haven't done any of the missions yet because it is an offline mode where you can do missions, which is great. I always love games where there's an offline mode where you can't just you're not forced to only play online. I'm not a big fan of online only type of games, you know. Especially if you don't have a good connection, how can you play the game? You know, so it's great that they have an offline feature in this game. You know, you can just play at your leisure and stuff like that and get the trophies and stuff like that and all other good stuff. The only negative so far that I can see with this game is um I guess you can say the fear, well, two negatives, like the fear and the timer. Like there's a time for the missions that you do. I think you only get like 30 minutes or whatever. So you have to like kind of rush. You can't really like just explore the map because it's big maps. It's like huge maps and everything. You can't really like explore it well and everything because the more time you take in doing that, you know, the time is taken. You have to hurry up because once the time runs out, then the, the enemies win, you know, the, the, the demons win. So it's like, come on. So you got to kind of like rush it in a way, you know, you can't really like just comfortably play it. Which I kind of understand with these games because I know that Friday 13th also had a timer and everything. But still, like, <laughs> I feel like that timer was, a, it took a long time before that timer, was, you know, started ticking in Friday 13th. So they should have done the same with this one. I know in Dead by Daylight, there is no timer at all. You know, you can be in a match for how long as you want. You know, if the killer wants to, like, act like an idiot or play around and do, and, you know, work with the survivors and play around. They could do it as long as they want without no issues, you know. So I guess the timer kind of can be, kind of could kind of kind of could be a good thing in this way you know because you know if you have people playing like that at least you have a timer that knows it'll take you know start taking soon and the match will just end like that you know instead of this being infinite until the killer gets you or until you guys escape the killer and stuff like that you know so it's not that bad but i kind of don't like the timer and also the fear level is another thing where you know you have to your fear level goes up high and then um, you can get possessed by the, the demons, which is kind of cool. You get possessed and they can like control you and you're attacking the survivors. So they got to quickly like hit you, like, you know, beat you up to like, you know, so you can snap out of it. But a way to like reduce your fears, if you're like in like lighted, lighted areas, like if you light uh, a match on like a, um, like a candle or a fireplace and stuff in, on, the, on the road map, it, it lowers your fear and stuff like that. So you're like more calm, you're not going like hallucinating, going crazy and stuff. So it kind of reminds me of Friday 13 with the fear system. Just this one I feel like is a little bit more annoying, a little bit more tedious in a way. So I'm not really a big fan on it, of it, but it's still cool. I do like that the demons can, you know, possess you and they can also possess your car because you can drive in this game too. And they can possess your car and take it over. I'm like, oh wow, this is cool. <laughs> this is great. I love that. So when they, they possess the car, all you guys just gather the car automatically. I'm like, what? That makes no sense. And then they control the car and they start trying to like ram into you and stuff like that. I'm like, oh shit, this is, <laughs> this is great. I like it. It's cool. Like the game, I love the, the environment, by the way. The, the environment in this game is great. It looks way more like a horror game. Like just the feeling, the setting. It really looks like a, one of those, you know, I say old school, like third, pause, third party horror games. You know, it's not third party, third person <laughs> horror games. Like how Evil Within was and games like that. It had that like type of like look to it. That environment and the graphics looks so good. It didn't look like bad like bad graphics like how dead by daylight you know the graphics can look really bad in that game you know it's very outdated because that is an old game that came out a while even though i really care about graphics but it, it just looks more presentable as a horror game with how everything is set up in this game it looks so good but yeah but by the way if you guys hear any noise or whatever it's raining a lot right now <laughs> and it's like beating on my sunroof so just let you know guys know like today is not really a good day it's a gloomy day and everything it was a little bit nicer earlier, but all of a sudden it started raining. You guys already know how the weather here in New York City. <laughs> but yeah. But um and here's want to show you guys real quick. So here you go, we have um the disc. You already know there's no artwork. I have my GameStop receipt in here. So the game was $39.99, 30, $43.54 total with the tax over here and everything. And then I have um this little slip that has the um the code on the back. <laughs> so yeah, so I haven't redeemed it yet, so I gotta do that. And, um, oh, I didn't even show you guys the back yet. <laughs> so, yeah, so you guys can see it for yourself and everything. Yeah, so, yeah, so you see right there, you can play, yeah, survivors, play as, um, can't really see it from right, or, or play as evil, as it says here, and everything. 
And yeah, so yeah, really good game. Guys can see the front again. All that great stuff. Yeah, so like I said, I don't know anything about the movie, but um, you know, I just wanted it for a multiplayer horror, a multiplayer horror experience. You know, that's something that, like I said, rivaled Friday the Thirteenth, like something like similar to that. I wouldn't even say rivaled Dead by Daylight, cause that's just a whole different game. It's not really killing in that game. There's no defending yourself, like how with these games that you could pick up a gun, and like how Friday the Thirteenth could pick up a gun and fight back against Jason. You can do the same in this game. It's just so good. You know, you can drive cars in this game. It's just, it's great. And this one has, um, you guys can see up there, so it has all the different, all the Evil Deads, all the movies. And I think the last one is a show that I think my friend had told me about. There was a show they used to have on TV or whatever like that. So, yeah, so that's all of them. Evil Dead, uh, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, and Ash, the Evil the Evil Dead, yeah. Is it Evil Dead? I mean, versus Evil Dead, yeah. The world was so small. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I want to talk about with this one. You know, like I said, it's really good. And for the price, you can't beat it. I I honestly thought it was gonna be like sixty dollars, but it's, <laughs> but I like what? When I saw the price, like forty dollars for this, so I'm like, oh hell yeah, I'm getting it. You know, it's the only reason why I pre-ordered it. The the one issue guys already know with these new games is um the what's it like the bugs. A lot of these modern games now is like a lot of bugs, and they always have like day one patches. So you already know once you get a, you get one of these new multiplayer games, it's always gonna be a lot of bugs, and there is a lot of bugs in this game I have experienced already. Like that. One in particular is so weird, so strange that I can't see the trophy system for this game. I'm getting trophies on the PS4. I, I get a notification I got two, but I can't check them. It's not showing me the list of trophies for this game for some reason. And for some reason, I can't use the code to redeem to get these outfits, you know, from the slip inside the case. So I'm hoping it, is, it fixes itself, or maybe they send on a patch. Maybe that's the issue. I don't know. But um, that's 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 two issues I've noticed. And also in the end game, there's a little bit of like, you know, issues with the, with the game is, itself. But other than that, it's not a big deal. You know, it's not like something that ruins the game. It's so fun, you know, and all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm enjoying the game. I like it a lot. And, um, you know, I feel like you guys should definitely pick this up. You know, if you really want a similar game to Friday the 13th, and, you know, you want to get that fixed because it's been, you know, like that was a great game. And after they, they stopped updating, you guys haven't had, you know, played another game like it in a while or whatever like that. Or Dead by Dead is just not what you guys wanted. Pick this one up, you know, a good deal for it, you know, a great game, and um, I'm having a lot of fun with it, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing some more of you and all that good stuff. I'm also going to have some gameplay footage at the end, by the way, for you guys to see. I can record a little bit of gameplay footage for you guys to, you know, check it out to see if you guys think it's something of your interest, you know, and get out, you know, you, you can, guys can get it as well. So yeah, but like I said, $40, can't beat it, good deal. I used some of my points on from GameStop, from the GameStop um, website, so I was able to get a little bit cheaper and everything. But um yeah, other than that, still enjoying the game. And um I mean other than that, it's still a good game, you know what? I'm enjoying the game and all that stuff. And um yeah, so there you got there you guys got it. Evil Dead the game. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else I had to mention about the game. Uh no. Yeah. I just have mostly positive things to say, minus this, those issues with the bugs in the game and um the fear meter and the whole timer mission based stuff I wasn't too big on. But um, from what I see, there is another mode where you, where it, where it is the four v, four versus one, like how it is with Friday Thirteenth and Dead by Daylight. But I haven't tried that mode yet, so I'm not sure how it works. But I do like the mission based mode because there's two different mission based modes. I forgot to mention. I'll mention that real quick. Is there's the one where is you guys versus the demons that can be the AI controls or human controls, and also you can play it where the AI is the survivors and the demons, and you just you know you're just playing against this, the a whole team of the, you know, AI-controlled um, enemies and survivors and stuff like that, you know. But I, I like to choose the mission-based one where it's me and other human survivors versus AI-controlled demons just because you can kind of play the game a little bit more at your leisure and do the missions in peace without having, you know, a human, like, en like play as the enemy coming and stopping you from whatever you're trying to do and everything. And it's like, oh, my God, it gets so annoying. It reminds me of Predator so much, like that game where... You know, the Predator is like so overpowered and it's like, it's so hard to do missions because he just kills you all the time and it's hard to take him out because they made him so powerful that game, you know? And it was so annoying why I, just, I couldn't play it anymore. That's why I stopped playing it. You know, they did give it away for free now on a, on a, um, I forgot which month it was. They gave it away for free. So I did download it back and everything, but I'm not really interested in playing it again because I just, I wasn't a big fan of it. I didn't really like that whole mission based thing and how they had the Predator overpowered and everything like that. It just, it was just, it was terrible to me. Like. I feel like that was the, one of their weakest projects yet. Friday 13th, the game was much better from those those creators. I wasn't a big fan of the Predator game, you know? 
but this one is definitely similar to that with the whole mission based thing but at least in this one the ai can control the the, the demons you know the, the killers and stuff instead of having a human player so it's a little bit much more you know lenient so you can actually do the missions in peace and stuff like that you know so i like that so they have that mode and they have the ones where like i said the, then the, the the human players can be the killers and going against you guys the mission base and also the other mode where i said was the 4v1 which i haven't tried that one yet but i'm guessing it's not a, like a mission base but i'm kind of wanting to know what they what, what happens in that mode what, what what happens do you guys just there's a way to escape or do you guys just have to like hunt the killer and he has to hunt you guys and that's how you you know win the match so i gotta definitely try that mode out and everything and uh yeah and other than that that's it so i gotta talk about it's all long enough <laughs> but yeah <laughs> but uh yeah but this is a good game i like it and I want to see more of these games. They need to make more of these multiplayer horror games out, you know, that, you know, like bring more of these out so we can all like, you know, have more alternatives, you know, because having this one game, well, that's not even good being like the, the, the prominent, like the main one and everything is not good. So, you know, and I feel like when they have no competition, they're not going to get any better, you know, so Dead by Daylight hasn't been a good game, you know, the, the updates suck, you know, they don't, well, they rarely update the game. There's a lot of issues with the game, bugs you know, and all this other stuff. They don't care about that because there's no no competition for them, you know? But now you have these games out and all that good stuff. I also heard, well, what I read in the GameStop magazine that they're going to come out with a Dragon Ball Z type of um, multiplayer game where, you know, it was the villains versus, you know, the, the good guys and stuff like that. So kind of like the survivors versus the bad or killers or whatever. Of course, not going to be horror, but it's, it's interesting, like, how they're going to, like, you know, how they're going to do that. I was reading until, like, oh, this is actually interesting. I'll definitely get that, too. And I think they said it's coming out this year. Not 100%, but I think they said it's this year. So I'm definitely looking forward to that because I'm a big fan of the Dragon Ball Z series and the, the franchise and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So I'm happy that a lot of these um, developers are now bringing more of these games out. I forgot the name of the, gen the genre it's called. It's called Symmetrical, something like that. Multiplayer, something like that it's called. Where, you know, it's where it's like the survivors versus the bad. You know, the survivors versus the good. I mean, bad versus the good and stuff like that. Killers versus survivors, like that, you know? So, yeah, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one, too. Like, they got to make more of these games, have more options now. This is what I want, so I'm happy about that. We don't have this one option now, no more. We have another game that's recent that just came out that we know is going to get updates and all that good stuff. So, happy for this. Sucks with Friday 13, the game, because that was such a great game. Sucks that lawsuit screwed, every, you know, screwed everybody over, but, but yeah, but it is what it is, right? So, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. And, um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Have you guys... Like, um, have you guys tried the game out yet? Have you guys, did you guys even know about the Evil Dead game? Because I honestly didn't know about the game at all until I saw in the magazine. So thank you for that magazine for showing me it. And that's when I quickly pre-ordered the game and everything. And I picked it up yesterday. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And, um, you know, if you guys tried it yet, you haven't heard about it, but you're interested in it, let me know. And all that good stuff. And, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. I definitely appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Name's Ash. Houseworks. I'm looking forward to a wonderful weekend. This is Professor Raymond Noby. I am now certain that my recitation I of the Necronomicon's like passages has resurrected a Kandarian demon. I cannot rectify my error, but execution of the following instructions may yet dispel the spirit. The 
first step is to gather the pieces of a map that you'll find nearby. The map will reveal the location of the lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian Dagger. Break some faces with this. going to get messy. doubt that the demon will attempt to destroy the completed Necronomicon. You must not allow it. Ah! 